understand the relationship between human health and environmental sustainability. Research has shown that the human health and the health of our planet are inextricably linked. Our civilization depends on natural systems and natural resources. And with natural systems being degraded to an extent unpredictable in human history, both our health and that our planet is in fear. Fossil fuels are formed from the decomposition of burned carbon-based organisms that died millions of years ago. They create carbon-rich deposits that are extracted and burned for energy. Examples of fossil fuels include coal, natural gas, oil, propane, and kerosene. They are non-renewable and currently supply around 80% of the world's energy. Next, pollution will also affect planetary health. Pollution is the introduction of contaminants into the natural environment that causes adverse change. Major forms of pollution include air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. Here are some of the effects of bad planetary health. First effect, rising temperatures. Carbon dioxide is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activities. The high concentration of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide in particular is causing extra heat to be trapped and global temperature to rise. This in turn will cause sea levels to rise, which will get into health. Second is the rising sea levels. Today, about 10 percent of land areas on Earth is covered with glacial ice. Almost 90 percent is in Antarctica, while the remaining 10 percent is in the Greenland ice. The increase in Earth's temperature will cause the melting of glacial ice. Countries such as the Maldives, Solomon Island, Tuvalu, and Vanuatu are the risk of sinking. As a result, the people living in those countries, we lost their homes due to the rising sea levels. Wasted food releases planet-warming carbon dioxide into the air as it rots. In addition, producing that food in the first place wastes energy and resources. Reducing food waste is an urgent priority for planetary health. We have probably heard of the three hours, but how well do you integrate them into your life? These interactions and are intended to be performed in that order. First, reduce your consumption of waste producing products such as plastic. Then, reuse what you can in order to avoid purchasing more. And finally, when you can no longer use it, recycle the product so it can re-enter the streams of consumer goods with a new life and a significantly lower carbon footprint.